we are at the halfway point. Um, if you're watching this on, um, oh, wait a second, let's see, Loretta says, I had zero point foods, and for supper, I used my points on a personal pizza. That's perfect. That is actually, you did your homework. So I will have to remember to come to circle back around and go ahead and give you your, um, give you your badge when Casey gets it done. Whew, but we are at the halfway point. If you were watching this on um, YouTube, that's just youtube.com. Search if you have an egg. We take a small break. So everybody take a little break, get you some water. I've been talking, I know I talk a lot every time, but I feel like I'm talking a lot and really fast. So get a drink of water. Okay, so at the halfway point, we are also going to put on the apron. So I have to know where are my wanted to try tofu people. So raise your hand if you were one of the people who wanted to know how to make tofu. I'm pretty sure um, Jonna was one of them. Yep, Sarah says if you plan the day out with points, it can be done, it sure can be done, Sarah. Okay, so let me see where are my, we need to know how to make tofu people. Sandra was one of them. Okay, so what we're gonna, what we're gonna make tonight includes tofu this is not just about tofu and vicky was one this is it includes tofu so i'm going to show you all one way i'm going to show you one way to make tofu tofu and then i'm going to include it in what we were making what we are making for the second half so first thing is i'm going to show you how to make baked tofu now i've already cheated and gotten this a little bit prepped ahead of time but if you were one of my curious tofu pe people pay attention okay yeah, loretta was one of them okay So I can't show you start to finish or we would be here like all night or we would have needed to take the entire hour chat to do this. But for tonight's recipe, we are going to be including baked tofu. Um, the recipe link that I shared with several of you all who had asked about tofu, that was, that was a stir fry way to make it. Baked is also really good. Baked tofu comes out the way I'm gonna show you how to make it. It comes out a little bit crispy. Um, it's got a really nice texture to it, and it's got some a little bit of flavor to it, so it doesn't just taste like raw eggs, you know. So while you would never, I knew you were, John, I knew John was a curious, I have a curious tofu. I knew you were, I remembered that you were. So this is baked tofu. The recipe that I shared with you, and I'm pretty sure I shared it with you, Jonna, is, um, was for a stir fry tofu. This one is easy, a little bit easier to make because you don't, it doesn't need your attention. Um, and it comes out pretty crispy, and I think you all are gonna like it, those of you who are a little bit skeptical about tofu. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're, you're gonna start with extra firm tofu, and t the second half of tonight's chat is not about tofu, okay? This is one part of what we're gonna end up making, but you wanna start with extra firm tofu. Um, Nasoya makes some good um, tofu. I got mine at Trader Joe's, but you want extra firm. Let's see, Sarah says, I wonder how sodium is on tofu. I don't know, let me see if I can look at it real quick. Y'all know I don't add sodium to anything, but that's not one of the things that I'm super paying attention to. So let's see, the, the brand I bought was Trader Joe's and it's the sodium is 15 milligrams, so not bad. I don't think, tofu doesn't seem salty to me. It's just, I don't know, it just doesn't seem salty. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do Believe it or not, this is tofu. You're gonna to take extra firm tofu and drain it. So the bond's already drained. Then you're gonna take something clean, some kind of a clean cloth that doesn't like cheesecloth is fine. I don't really like cheesecloth because it's kind of a, I don't know, it's just kind of messy. Um, oh, no, 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 Gail. I've never actually made, I've never actually made tofu. We're gonna to make tofu. Um, but so you're gonna take some kind of a clean cloth that's not gonna like peel or have lint, you know, or anything like that. So this is just a cheapy cheap washcloth. Do not tell Alyssa that I use this, but it is not fuzzy in any in any way, shape, or form. So it's perfect for this. And you just wrap the tofu up in it and then set something heavy on it. You like not heavy like to squish it, but you're just trying to squish out some of that extra moisture. And this, if I wring this out for you all right now, this is soaking wet. I use something like this, or I use um, Swedish dish cloths or something like that because then I can throw them in the I can throw them in the washer when I'm done. Okay, then. So now, 
you have, let's see, hold on a second. Loretta's husband's cardiologist eats tofu. Hmm, but a coworker told her it's not good for anyone who had cancer. So I'd, I know that there are some people who should not consume a lot of it, but that's a little outside of my area of expertise. So I don't know, we'll have to check on that. But so now you just have a firm block of tofu. And the first thing, first thing I do is turn it on its side like this and cut it in half. Then I'm gonna turn it back flat and cut it in half again. So I've cut it in half both directions. And then we're just gonna make cubes. So now that it's been cut in half both directions, it's gonna make cubes. You can make them like half an inch thick, you know, something like that. So now the pieces should be about that big, okay? Yeah, Debbie said her friend that had breast cancer had breast cancer and she cannot eat tofu or any soy. So Debbie, do you know why that is? I've, I think I've heard that before, but I cannot, I can't remember why that is. And that would be so sad for somebody who's trying to be meatless. Okay, Loretta, don't do it. Loretta says, how does it taste like that? You're not gonna talk me into doing that. I am <laughs> not, uh-uh, nope. I am not eating raw tofu. That just seems icky to me. Okay. Then we're gonna spritz it. Just put it in a bowl or something or a bag. You could put it in a like a zippered bag. Spritz it with just a little bit of olive oil. Okay, Gail says she thinks it's because soy has natural estrogen in it. Okay, that makes total sense. But that would be so sad for somebody who was trying to not eat meat, who had had breast cancer to not be able to eat that. So I don't know if anybody knows what they would do differently in that situation, let me know. Okay, this, okay, so we've got extra firm tofu that has been, um, it's been uh, like the liquid squished out of it. Cut it lengthways, sideways, then like this and made little, so we've got little tofu squares now. And I spritzed it with some olive oil. Then we're gonna take some Bragg liquid aminos. If you don't have Bragg liquid aminos or if you just have soy sauce or prefer it, you can totally use that. And depends on how much tofu you have, you want about a tablespoon. And then I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. And if you don't know what nutritional yeast is, we have a chat for that. And then we're gonna add about a tablespoon of cornstarch. You can use arrowroot too, but I did not have that. The cornstarch and the Bragg nutritional yeast is to help kind of crisp it up in the oven. Because this, remember this is baked tofu. And then we're just gonna gently toss all that together. To kind of coat it. So we've got extra firm tofu, Bragg, or a little, tiny bit of olive oil, Bragg liquid aminos, Did I already say, um, ooh, yeah, Sandra says she has to limit the amount of soy or it really upsets her stomach. That's strange. That's interesting to know though. Okay, and then you're gonna preheat your oven to 400 degrees and we're gonna put the tofu flat on, I like to put it on parchment paper on a cookie sheet, so 400 degrees, flat on a cookie sheet. Again, it's tofu, cut into cubes. Oops, I'll try to hurry this up. So I'm eating into our other time. So to extra firm tofu, drained, cut into little cubes, Bragg liquid aminos, a little bit of olive oil, spray, spritz with olive oil some cornstarch. Let's see. Oh no. Loretta says, yes, you can air fry, Melissa, but the, um, the air fryer is, it's a little bit, I don't know, tricky with tofu. It's weird. The tofu doesn't want to get as crispy. I do like it in the air fryer, but, um, 
baked for some reason just comes out crispier okay and you can I don't know if y'all can hear him or not but Dusty thinks that it that this is meat actually um we used to have a dog named Dee Dee who had to have all of her food she had um congenitive heart failure or congenital heart failure and all of her food had to be had to be made and she loved tofu my mom used to bake her tofu every single week she baked tofu for her So we've got that on the cookie sheet, on the um, parchment paper. Um, if you want it to be a little extra crispy, you can add you can add just a little bit more of the um, cornstarch to the top of it. Just helps with the crispy. Again, arrowroot works the same way. Um, but Loretta says she eats a lot of salmon and she must have a lot of mercury in her. Ooh, I hope not. I hope the salmon that you're eating doesn't have mercury in it. Okay, so just gonna crisp it up just a little bit more and then the Bragg Nutritional Yeast helps with the same thing. Okay, so we have got that ready to go. Now we're gonna stick it in the oven. Okay, and you're gonna cook it on 400 degrees for about 30 minutes and at the 15 minute mark, you're gonna flip it. So. I need a timer. Who can time 15 minutes for me? So let me know if you can be my 15 minute, if you can be my 15 minute person. And look, even though we haven't reached the first 15 minutes, through the magic of television, baked tofu. We already have some baked tofu ready to go that I made before the chat so that it would be good and cooled off. Okay, so I need my timer person. Who's going to count 15, 15 minutes for me so that we can get it out and flip it? So what tonight's recipe actually is, is not baked tofu, even though I just told you how to make it. Tonight's recipe is actually going to be a baked tofu Mediterranean salad. So you know, we have been talking about salads, getting, getting ready for this summer and getting some, you know, fresh vegetables and fresh fruits and things like that and getting, getting ready for it just getting ready for summer. So this is one of those getting ready for summer things. Hold on a second. Okay, so this is one of those getting ready for summer things. Um, a Mediterranean salad, so yummy, so light, so fresh. Love the flavors in them. I love that kind of Mediterranean, I don't know. There's just, there's just something about it. Just a fantastic taste. I'm gonna start with a simple bagged salad because my neighbor Nicole and I, started our garden a little late this year. And so while other people are harvesting their beautiful greens, we do not have any. But this was a salad starter that I got at Kroger. And this is, it's Simple Truth. So it's the Kroger brand. If you have Meyer, I believe that's the same thing as Kroger. But this one just looked like it would be a good Mediterranean um, salad to me. It's got um, frise, radicchio, broccoli, cauliflower, and red cabbage. So it just looked really pretty. I don't know, it just looked really just Mediterranean to me. So we're gonna start with a nice, um, thank you, thanks Debbie. Gonna start with a nice salad base. And again, if you were lucky enough to get your garden started early, then maybe you've already got a nice salad base to go with. Then to make it an, into a nice Mediterranean and flavor, the first thing I'm gonna add so this is zero points because this is all different kinds of lettuces. And I may have to go put Dusty on the couch. Hold on a second. Where'd you go, buddy? Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. John is in Santa Fe, New Mexico this week. And Old man doesn't know what to do without him here. Okay, let's see. Debbie says Kroger, Meyer, and Fred. Fred's are all owned by Kroger. Good to know. Okay, so zero points because this is all greens, okay, and purples, you know. But zero points. Then I'm gonna add some chickpeas. Oh, hold on. Sarah wants to see Dusty. I'll bring Dusty over here when we're done because I don't need him in the middle of this food. I'm telling you, he will eat this tofu. It is that good. So I rinsed some, a can of chickpeas. I rinsed a can of those, still zero points. So I'm just gonna add some chickpeas to my salad. Okay, 
So a can of chickpeas, zero points. Okay, then I'm gonna add a can. <laughs> I'm gonna add a can of artichoke hearts. And the artichoke hearts, I'm just gonna barely um, dice, them, whoop, dice them a little bit. Didn't mean to throw that one at you. Just gonna barely chop them a little bit before I put them in there. But artichoke hearts are a great, they are a great addition to kind of a Mediterranean salad. Um, I've seen a lot of people talking about um, hearts of palm the last couple of weeks. I did not have any of that um, to add for this salad, so we're just gonna do artichoke hearts. So have you all throw what liquid away? What liquid? Debbie says, don't throw the liquid away, use it to make mayonnaise. What liquid are you talking about? Are you talking about from the chickpeas? Explain, explain how to make mayonnaise. Because I still have the liquid. Okay, so a can of artichoke hearts or a jar of artichoke hearts if that's how you buy them. Or if you like hearts of palm, you could do that. Oh, there's still more in here. Oh yeah, Debbie says that you can use Debbie, okay, explain, Debbie. <laughs> Jonah says the same thing. Yes, how do we make mayo? Okay, Debbie, while I'm chopping up, while I'm chopping up artichoke hearts, and these are baby artichoke hearts, while I'm chopping these up, please explain how we make mayonnaise out of our um, chickpea juice. So tell us, oh wise one. Oh yeah, Loretta wants to know too. You've got quite a little audience here now wanting to know how to do that. And I only have got four more artichoke hearts, so you've got plenty of time to tell us. Ugh, these smell so good. I forget how much I like artichokes until I have them. And I know somebody's going to ask me. The artichoke hearts do have more sodium. It's like 300 maybe. I don't know. That writing's so tiny. That writing is so tiny that's hard to see. Okay, so artichoke hearts are almost in. And you know, I don't know if y'all realize this or not, but Memorial Day, oh, Debbie's looking for the recipe. Memorial Day is Monday. So that means this coming weekend is Memorial Day weekend. This would be a great salad to take um, to a Memorial Day party. Um, and it's going to be something, you know, kind of fun and interesting, and it's also going to be colorful by the time we get done with it. Okay, so now we've got our artichoke hearts in there. Okay, then next I'm going to add some mild banana pepper rings, and my neighbor and I are growing um, banana peppers down in our garden. We are also growing um, jalapeno peppers. Jalapeno peppers... We're growing um, banana peppers. We've got, oh gosh, bell peppers. We have pimentos. I've never grown pimentos before, um, but we're also growing those. So we're going to add some banana peppers to this. And banana peppers are not hot, hot. So, or I don't think. These are sweet banana peppers, mild banana peppers. So if you don't like hot stuff, you might want to try it first just to see, you know, to see how many you want in your recipe. Okay, and then the first thing that I'm putting in here that has points, this is going to be the first thing that has points. So you know when we were talking about um, no more forbidden foods? Well, everything that's in here so far is all, that's all zero points so far. And Loretta says that's her kind of salad. So that is all zero points so far. So now... We can add, let's see, Lynn says Memorial Day is the 29th, isn't it? Wait, so is that in two weeks? I guess that, is that in two weeks, Lynn? Yeah, sorry, not, not tomorrow. When I said this next Monday, I meant like next Monday, so like a week from tomorrow. Okay, and then I'm going to put some um, sliced Kalamata olives. And the Kalamata ol olives, it's 10... 10 of these are one point, but this is going to be, so I'm not even counting. I mean, I'm, I'm not even counting how many olives are going to go in here because by the time, by the time I get done with this salad, 
This is going to serve like 10 people. This is going to be enough salad to serve 10 people or like five super big salads. If I was going to be eating this salad by myself, yeah, a week from Monday, sorry, then I might, you know, I might count how many. Okay, but we've got room. We've got room for things with points because we have been, because we've got everything else is zero points. So, so far everything is zero points, a nice salad mix, um, artichoke hearts, mild banana peppers, uh, chickpeas. We just added some sliced Kalamata olives. If you like green olives better, you could do the green olives. They don't have to be Kalamatas. Then I do have some reduced fat feta, and that was the Athenos brand again. I'm gonna add some of that on there. And again, you can measure. You can certainly measure, but since this is gonna be a big salad that I'm gonna be dividing up probably into like five or six different servings, it's still gonna be super, super, super low points. So I've not bothered to measure this. Okay, now the piece de resistance. Let's see. I don't use canola oil either, so, oh, wait, 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 are you talking about for the, um, for Debbie's recipe? Okay, we have an extra couple of minutes. Let me see if I can find this. Okay, Debbie says, okay, for those of you, whoa, for those of you who wanted to know how to make the, who wanted to know how to make mayonnaise out of the chickpea juice, Debbie says, a quarter of a cup aquafaba, that's bean juice, a fourth of a teaspoon of mustard, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of sugar, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, three quarters of a cup of canola oil. So there was a question about could you use a different kind of oil. Mix all of the ingredients except the oil together in a wide mouth pint jar and use an immersion blender. When the ingredients are well mixed, stream oil into the mixture in a very thin stream with the blender going, continue to blend until mixture reaches the desired consistency and it will thick more when you chill it. That sounds good. And Debbie says, yeah, she uses either avocado or olive oil. Okay, fantastic. That sounds really, really good. We'll have to try that because I do have an immersion blender. Do I? Do I? I think I do. Hold on. We won't try that tonight. But I do have an immersion blender, so so we will have to try that for another night. Okay, and again, because of the magic of television, I have some already baked tofu. So I have some already baked. I have some already baked tofu. We just have just enough time. I'm going to sprinkle that on the top. I'm going to take my tongs. Oh, whoops. Oh, and I completely forgot. Cucumber. I had cucumber to go in here too. And it has been more than 15 minutes. Where is my turner? Because we've not turned the tofu. Where is my person with the timer? So quickly, you just turn the tofu, flip it over while it's cooking supposed to be at the halfway point, didn't quite make it. Okay, well this is just for me, so let's pretend like I turned it off, and I'm going to stick it back in there, but it'll crisp it up on both sides if you do that. Okay, let's let, whoops, let's let that finish, and I will have even more. I had forgotten about the cucumbers. They were sitting back here all by themselves. So we've got a nice, and tofu has no points. Okay, so um, Loretta wants to know if tofu has points. It absolutely does not have points. No points for the tofu. So the only thing so far that we have put in here that has any points whatsoever, the tofu was spritzed with just a tiny bit of olive oil. If you go crazy with the olive oil, that would have points. But if not, still going to be zero points and um, you're not putting enough brag nutritional yeast on there to be points so we've got cucumbers some baked tofu we've got chickpeas those are zero points we have some um, artichoke hearts look how pretty this is look how fantastically beautiful 
Look how fantastically beautiful that is. And then I've got some G. Hughes sugar-free balsamic. We used this when we did the watermelon recipe a couple of weeks ago, two weeks ago. Let me put just a little bit, whoop, just a little bit of that on there and taste this for you. This is going to be a fantastic, fantastic Greek salad, a Mediterranean salad. Make sure I get a little bite of everything. I need to get an all of in there. There we go. So I've got some baked tofu, a little piece of um, dressing. Um, hmm. So light. Hmm. Debbie's exactly right. Debbie said, now you can afford a crusty piece of bread to go with it. That is exactly right. So that is baked tofu, Mediterranean salad. Mm. I'm so glad that I did not eat my supper before we started tonight because now I get to have a big bowl of this for supper. But I hope, oh, the time is up. I gotta take the tofu out. Okay, so second batch of tofu, crispy and ready to go. I'll let that cool off before I put it in there. Um, let me go grab Dusty because we had a special request for him. Even though he is going to think this is his, I'll be right back. Okay. So when you all think that I'm kidding about how small, when you all think I'm kidding about how small our loft is, I just left the kitchen, went to the living room, and have come back to the kitchen all in about. 25 steps so here is dusty and he is and yes sarah you've got to try tofu so here is dusty and he's like mom i want some tofu because i love it i love it i love it i love it you're not getting any tofu buddy no tofu for you so you are most welcome sarah so i hope y'all enjoyed this recipe i hope you will try it it's beautiful it's delicious you could put some cranberries in it you could put some fruit in it if you wanted to um i don't know if you noticed this or not but i did not put Thank you. I didn't, thank you, Jonna. I did not put the dressing on here until I was ready to eat it. That's the one thing that I would wait. So you can mix all of this together, get it ready, take it to your holiday, get together, but wait until you're ready to serve it before you put the dressing on there. Just because the dressing, um, if you let, if you leave it on there too long, tends to make the, this crisp tofu that you just made baked in your oven, it tends to make it a little bit soggy. So everybody have a fantastic week. Um, Casey will get this recipe posted in a couple of days. The blog post will be done on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com here in just a day or two. The YouTube video should be up by tomorrow night. Again, that's on youtube.com. Search if you have an egg. And if you're watching this on YouTube, let that next video roll over because I know you'll enjoy it. And if you have not subscribed yet, please do. If you have any currently disposed like displaced whatever Jenny Craig friends, please invite them to come and join us. This is not just a Weight Watchers group. Anybody would eat this. I mean, literally anyone. Do not have to be a Weight Watcher to eat this. But I hope you all had a great time. I know I did. And I hope you have a great week. And I will see you next time. Good night.